Okay, the Samsung's first ever triple folding phone, the Galaxy Z Trifold, is finally here, and reliable leaker Evan Blass has just spilled nearly everything, from the official name to the screen sizes, camera specs, battery details, and even the expected release date. It's all here. So let's break down what's confirmed, what's missing, and why this could be the boldest experiment Samsung's ever launched. Let's start with the confirmed specs. The Galaxy Z Trifold will feature a massive 10-inch inner display with up to 1600 nits of peak brightness, plus a 6.5-inch cover screen that actually reaches a brighter 2600 nits. That's almost double what the Z Fold 7's outer display offered, which topped out around 1400 nits. Powering it all will be a Snapdragon processor, though the exact model isn't confirmed yet, a bit odd for a device this ambitious. Still, being Samsung's most advanced foldable ever, Snapdragon makes perfect sense. The camera setup? A 200 megapixel primary camera, exactly what earlier rumors suggested. Battery capacity sits at a rated 5,437 milliamp hours, but Samsung will almost certainly market it as 5,600 milliamp hours, the same way the Z Fold 7's 4,272 milliamp hours was rounded up to 4,400 milliamp hours. Now, here's where things get interesting the thickness. The Trifold's three leaves apparently vary slightly, 3.9 millimeters, 4 millimeters, and 4.2 millimeters. Not perfectly uniform, which sounds strange, but knowing Samsung, there's probably a practical reason behind that asymmetry. Maybe cooling, hinge support, or balance. On brightness comparison, the 10-inch main screen's 1600 nits falls a bit short of the Z Fold 7's smaller 8-inch panel, but that 6.5-inch external display clearly wins with its massive 2600 nits output. Now, the part everyone's waiting for, price and availability. This is where things get tricky. The Galaxy Z Trifold is expected to officially launch on December 5th, but the bad news? Availability seems very limited. Most leaks point to China, Singapore, the UAE, and South Korea only. Sadly, Europe and the US might not see this device at all. And about the price? Brace yourself. Reports from South Korea suggest a tag between 2,000 and 3,000 USD. That's a huge range, and Samsung doesn't expect to sell more than 20 to 30,000 units. This is clearly an experimental product, one meant to show off what Samsung can do, not something everyone will buy. So is the Galaxy Z Trifold the beginning of Samsung's comeback in the foldable world? Maybe. It's certainly groundbreaking, but it's not going to make Samsung number one again overnight. The real battle is still ahead, especially with Apple's first foldable iPhone reportedly coming soon. If Samsung wants to stay ahead, it'll need solid, mass-market devices like the upcoming Z Fold 8 and that rumored Z Flip Fan Edition, not just flashy prototypes. Still, the Z Trifold marks an exciting new chapter in smartphone design. What do you think? Is this foldable the future, or just an expensive experiment? Drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech breakdowns like this. See you in the next one. Peace out.